Guys, there's maybe a lot of stuff that we should be blocking, right? The CEO of TikTok has just said it himself. He does not let his own children use the TikTok app. Now, what does that mean when he said it? And also, how come talking about TikTok is just so emotional for people? Walawe, so true. Get off his back line. He's not even from mainland. He's from Singapore. Well, you know, I don't really know Singapore, Singapore, wherever he's from. He looks Chinese to me. Yeah, this is going viral right now, and it's especially going viral because, Andrew, soon Shochu will need to testify in front of the U.S. Congress because, Andrew, they are actually considering a bipartisan bill to ban TikTok completely from the U.S. Yeah, so they're going to sit him down. Uh, pick them apart just like they did Mark Zuckerberg. Obviously, now this is both Democrats and Republicans both want to hear him out and be like, yo, what's going on, guys? What's up with this app? Do we need to block it? Is it, a, uh, is it a threat or whatever? Now, my theory is real quick before we get into the major comments. First of all, everybody, please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Silly Boys. to serious. You guys know we're breaking it down. Yeah, my overall theory is that a lot of Americans view TikTok as like this proxy war, as that like this Trojan horse because it's an app that everybody knows about. Everybody uses everybody's seen it and then they're like wait it's a threat and then they're like if we can't stop tiktok then we can't stop anything from china mm. and we might as well bend over for china right now and give up this country if we can't stop something as trivial as tiktok so that's my theory. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Um, and that's really interesting. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Of course, keep it civil, Andrew. Interestingly enough, the full-length interview that Sho Chu did on New York Times, Andrew, they had to kill the comment section because it was getting so crazy in there. So you have two kids. I do. Do they use TikTok? No, they're too young for that. So uh, at what ages are they? Uh, eight and six. Okay. TikTok is... Here in the U.S., if you're below the ages of, if you're below 13, you get a very restricted version of TikTok. A real quick, do want to clear up what Sho Chu said when asked, do, does he let his kids use the app? He said, well, my kids are eight and six, so that is below the age of when they can even sign up for an account. You have to be 13 to sign up for TikTok in America. My recommendation is they should even higher that age limit anyways. But of course, his kids are below the age. So why would he let his kids use the TikTok app? Anyway, of course, we're going to get in the internet, you know, reactions, our own takeaways. Let's get into it. Somebody said, man, a good crack dealer doesn't smoke their own crack, man. I'm telling you, all these CEOs, they know these things are bad and they don't let their kids use them. The CEO of Pepsi, his kids don't drink soda. The CEO of uh, uh, McDonald's, they don't eat fast food. They're living the fancy, fancy lifestyle and they're selling all these things to the proletariat. Commoner folks, keeping us down, oppressed, dumb and unhealthy. Yeah, and uh, I mean, there's some truth to this, but you have to understand CEOs, I mean, they're hired business people to keep the company running and to make it profitable you know their goal is not to come in and make these products not what they are like literally why would anybody hire a ceo for their company if the comp if the ceo is just going to come and be like well that has a little bit too much sugar that's a little too right. unhealthy boop and just switch the product it, it is interesting that the examples that everybody gave uh pepsi fast food obviously tiktok all dopamine centric Hey, man, those are good, man. You just got to limit your intake. Somebody said, how come when you're on TikTok, if it's owned by the Chinese, you never see any Chinese people on there? Does anybody else think that's kind of fishy? Uh, yeah, man, this is actually a pretty funny comment, but there is actually a lot of Chinese people because a lot of videos are reposted from Douyin, which is the Chinese TikTok, of course, the original Especially one. the food ones. Yeah. The food videos from China are Dude, A1. Trust me, man. If you just start looking at like a few Chinese videos, they're going to give you more Chinese videos because that's what the algorithm's supposed to do. That's how the algo works by the way make sure you like this video to boost it in the algo somebody said china is bad man we're talking about spyware this is literal spyware man is digital fentanyl they're about to build deep fakes of us once they get the stem cells going you're gonna go over to china and find a clone of yourself just like elon has yi lung ma it's still crazy is it crazy that people want to ban tiktok but then people are like yeah, drugs, whatever. Everybody just got drugs. Yeah, all, drugs all and guns. Drugs. <laughs> oh, some fentanyl's in there. Yeah, well, you know, just watch out for the fentanyl. Oh, this, this, this drug, that drug. I'm like, guys, there's maybe a lot of stuff that we should be blocking right now. Somebody said, man, we just got to unplug from it all. It's all bad. Every social media, I don't want to single out TikTok just because it's owned by somebody who looks a lot, you know, facially different from me. Um, it's all bad. We got to unplug from it all. And somebody said, it's too late, man. It's just got us claws entrenched in us. <laughs> We can't let go. We're addicted. We 
were the ones that were supposed to be using technology, not the other way around. Um, somebody said, why is everybody fake pretending like they care? Listen, you want cheap things, subsidized prices, customized experience, easy dopamine. The truth is we knowingly make these trade-offs every day. Even as we complain, we still continue to make these trade-offs every day. So why doesn't everybody just shut up and quit fake caring? This comment right here, man, that was saying a lot. So that's a tough pill to swallow for a lot of people. Oh, man. To be honest, listen, listen, we, we want all these cool things from China. We want the, the cheap security cameras. We want the cheap gadgets. We want the DJI drones. It's all from China. Somebody said, uh, if you're worried about an app, don't be. Our own government is spying on us, and they've been bought out by foreign regimes. And even if they're not bought out by foreign regimes, the companies are bought out by foreign regimes. So, listen, your data could just get mined by an American company and then just sell it to the highest bidder. So, who cares where they get it from? I think a lot of the problem, to be honest, and I'm not trying to sound like an anti-capitalist because I like making money too, but... Man, I think the greedy Americans up top, whoever they are, wherever they're at, they're kind of selling America out right now. Yeah. Just, just to Somebody think saying, it. uh, it's more about the TikTok challenges. Those are the ones that are really damaging. It ain't really about the data, whatever. That's it. It's the challenges. Nah, man. I, f I grew up in America. I, I know American kids enough. We all like some stupid stuff out here, You're man. You talking about Jackass Tom Green, dude, back we, to uh, Andy Kaufman, even uh, Dude, man on the moon even and me, and I was in, I imitating some stupid challenges back in the day when I was a kid. I can only imagine now. Um, somebody said it's more about the woke ideologies they're teaching my kid to hate capitalism and embrace socialism. Or maybe they just want a, every kid to get a BBL. Now boys are getting BBLs. Girls are getting BBLs. What's up with this whole BBL generation? Don't call them Generation Z. Call them Generation BBL. Wait, so the same people who are saying it's up to these evil, greedy capitalists, they're also saying that TikTok is spreading anti-capitalist views, so it's also bad. And then China's bad because China's not a fully capitalist country. I'm just confused, guys. To your previous point, somebody said capitalism has no moral base. As your parent, it's your responsibility to monitor what they consume. Nobody's, is everybody forgetting that his kids are eight and six? He never said anything, uh, you know, he basically said, if your kids are too young, you should just be a good parent. <laughs> Um, somebody said, well, you know, the Chinese, the reason their app doesn't have all these crazy videos is because their society is not as degenerate or silly like us in the West have become over time. Hey, man, if you're going to blame America's ills on, you think TikTok is making people dumber Ooh, here, guys? If anything, TikTok sort of revealed people's, I guess, attitudes or, you know, good and bad. I think you see some good stuff on TikTok and you see some, you see a range, but yeah, I think the overwhelming point is, Andrew, and this is why to your original point, everybody's so emotional about banning TikTok is most people feel like TikTok is a negative force. Yeah, but right. it's, but I think they see it and maybe it's used as kind of this symbol or this symptom of this disease that people think that America's already has. And they're just like, man, it just goes to show you why America's so messed up. We can't stop an app. We can't stop our kids from watching it. We can't stop these people from creating this type of content. I can't stop kids from consuming it. Ow. And the last comment was, people just hate it because the Chinese own it. It's no different than any other silly app out there showing people silly things. Literally no difference. It's just who owns the app. So how much that matters is completely up to you. I could see valid arguments on both sides. Man, I guess, David, overall, to sum it up, man, what... What do you think? What's like a right, reasonable way listen, to think about it? And I know people are going to be like looking at our faces and be like, well, you guys are biased. Clearly. Uh, listen, if TikTok is proven to be doing the bad things, whether, you know, obviously everybody has a different range of what they consider like unacceptable, uh, tolerated, 50-50, it's unacceptable. If it's really in the unacceptable zone for the majority of people, ban it, right? Uh -huh. Just provide the evidence. It's almost like accusing somebody of something very heinous. That's a big accusation, but if you can prove it, then they should get punished. Yeah, if they do the crime, they should do the time, 100%. Now, if they do these uh, Congress hearings, this if he testifies and shows you and, and, and it reveals itself that, you know, China, the government has, like, access to the data whenever they want, that's a big deal. And they should ban TikTok, right? Yeah. So we're not saying that TikTok is fully innocent. I'm just saying I need to see it be proven. Right. Um, I think just also... Like, there is some freedom of speech considerations, just like with guns, right? Like, it all comes down to the Second Amendment and all these crazy things and the history. And well, what was right. it justified? Well, because, and was it that time versus uh, this era? There's, these complicated uh, arguments get hyper-layered and hyper-complicated if you really want to get into, like, the nuts and bolts of it, right? Listen, guys, do guns kill people or do people kill people? Do Does TikTok make kids stupider or do uh, people make... 
their own kids stupider. Well, the truth is, if it's it's TikTok, <laughs> it ain't me, man. I'm a good parent. Um, I think you just got to take responsibility for your own family, right? A lot of these macro things, mid things, whether it's local politics, ma- uh, national politics, like a national TikTok ban, these things are pretty much out of your control unless you're a super high level politician, right? Yeah. Like a- as an average citizen, you got to take care of your micro, which is you, your family, the circles that are around you. And um, overall, guys, you know, I think there's a lot of valid arguments on all sides. But like I said, those are big accusations. But if they find big evidence, then so be it. You hey, do the man. crime, you do the time. Hey, why doesn't someone start an educational version of TikTok and see how well that does? I'm, I would push for it. I hope it does well. But something tells me that it won't get as many downloads. It won't be dopamine. It would be melatonin because I type put me to sleep because it's boring anyway let us know what you think in the comment section below guys like I said I think there's valid arguments on both sides and uh keep it civil Just don't get the comment section shut down like on all the Yahoo News and you know New York Times and other things until next time we to hop up boys we out peace, peace.